Avian Adventures. Did you know that the flight of owls is almost completely silent? Today we will explore how owls have adapted to be silent ninjas. For hundreds of years, owls have been used as an inspiration for different art forms, storytelling, and even fashion trends. Their mesmerizing eyes and the colorful details of their feathers make them easy to appreciate and hard to forget. Owls have some killer adaptations, pun intended. And that makes them one of the most successful predators on our planet. One of the key factors in their success is their silent flight. Have you ever tried to sneak up on someone to scare them? Being stealthy is definitely harder than it seems. So how do owls do it? How does silent flight work? In order to answer this question, we will need to take a closer look at some feathers. Look carefully. Can you tell which one might have the softest feathers? And which one might feel more like plastic to the touch? Would it help if we focused on just one of their feathers? This feather looks and feels like velvet. It is so soft, it almost feels like fur. While this feather looks and feels more like plastic, very stiff and rigid. Did you guess that the soft, velvety feather belonged to an owl? That softness is actually one of the reasons why owls can fly so quietly. And on the opposite end of the spectrum, we have the vulture feather. The stiff, plastic-like texture allows them to catch air thermals and soar to great heights. Now let's zoom in on the owl feather and take an even deeper look. Do you notice the texture on the edge of the feather? It looks kind of like teeth on a comb. These comb-like teeth break up the air as the owl flies. The bottom of the feather is fringed and breaks up the air even more, allowing the wings to move silently. Almost every feather on the owl's body is designed this way to maximize silence. Now let's zoom in on a vulture feather. As you can see, the edge of this feather is smooth over the top and bottom. As these feathers slice through the air, they make a whooshing sound as the air is being moved. Without anything to break up the air, it makes noises as it passes over and under the wings. Most birds have feathers designed like the vultures. Hummingbirds make a buzzing noise while they fly and morning dove wings whistle when they take off. There are different reasons why birds make noises when they fly. Morning doves have the loud whistling wing flaps to either startle predators as they try to escape or to help warn their flock mates that a predator is lurking around. And vultures? Well, they prefer to eat dead things and you don't have to sneak up on something that isn't running away. Owls, on the other hand, need to be extra stealthy in order to find and catch their next meal. Owls rely on their hearing to find their food. Imagine trying to listen for mice scurrying around on the ground, and at the same time having loud wing flaps right next to your ears. That would make finding dinner extremely difficult. Silent flight also allows owls to sneak up on their prey in the dead of night when it's extremely quiet out. An owl can get within a foot of a mouse before it realizes that it's on the menu. Owls are truly nature's best mouse traps and are an excellent source of rodent control. If you have mice taking up residence in your neighborhood, we suggest putting up owl boxes to encourage owls to live and hunt in your very own backyard. Compared to poison, owls are a much more sustainable and a more fun way to control rodent populations. Not to mention, they provide a cool sunset soundtrack. Rat poison not only kills rodents, but any animal that eats rodents as well. This phenomenon, known as secondary poisoning, can be detrimental to apex predators like the owl. If you don't have a resident owl to help you with those pesky critters, a good old fashioned snap trap will also do the trick. Whether you appreciate owls because of their beauty or their silent flight, we can all agree on how engaging these birds are. Beautiful and functional, these silent predators are worth protecting. 
you can best appreciate them by providing a safe environment for them to live and thrive. <laughs>